guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm taking you guys through a back flexibility tutorial. Now, this tutorial is great for anyone of any flexibility level, because we'll be starting off with very basic exercises that anyone can follow along to, and then we'll get into some much more advanced stretches. So if you are more advanced, you can follow along till the end, but if you are still working to improve your back flexibility, you can start the tutorial with me and just go as far as you can. But that being said, I do have a more beginner back flexibility tutorial that you can find up in whichever corner it is, so you can check that out if you feel like you need something a little bit easier, but otherwise you don't need any sort of equipment or anything to follow along to this tutorial, just a little bit of space, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started. You're going to be on the ground and just come onto your hands and knees in an all fours position. The first exercise we're going to do is these cat cows, so basically you'll slightly arch your back and then curl it, and we'll repeat that eight times. Now, you don't need to arch or curl your back very much when you're doing this one. Uh, this is just supposed to be a subtle movement to start warming up your back, so just take it nice and slow. Okay, now staying in this position, we're going to do some of these circles with your back four times in each direction. I know this one looks funny and may feel kind of awkward as well, but I do find it helpful when I'm starting to warm up my back. Sunrise, no destination, no lie, I've been so patient, like winter waiting for June. I'm done and waiting for you, waiting for you, baby I'm outside. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this sort of wave movement. So you're going to go from your hands and knees onto your stomach and then come back. So again, this is a nice, slow and fluid motion that you want to do here. Just try to make it one continuous movement and we'll repeat it eight times. Okay, come onto your stomach now, and we're just going to push up into a cobra position, holding for about 5 seconds at the top, and again, we'll do this 8 times. Now just come up and hold in this arching position for 10 seconds. You don't need to arch all the way back yet as we will be repeating this later, but you're more than welcome to if you feel warmed up enough. Next up we're going to do some circles arching back, so we're going to start four times on the right and then we'll do four times to the left. The sun is setting down soon. You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head. You can find beauty in the night too. But it's harder to see when you're stuck in a dream. Mm -hmm. So but you keep on going. I know that you're in the Okay, and now come. 
come back up into this arching position for another 10 seconds, and you can arch back further this time, or even bend your legs to try to touch your head this time around. Okay, great. Now you can come into a child's pose and just relax here for a bit. Since this entire video is dedicated to back stretches, it can be really tiring on your back, so we'll be taking plenty of breaks throughout just to make sure you don't injure yourself. Okay, so coming up onto your knees now, we're going to start doing some waves. You can link your hands together behind your back, and we'll start off with eight of these smaller waves. If you've been following my tutorials for a while, you know how much I love doing waves to help warm up my back, so you'll be seeing a lot of them in any of my back stretching tutorials. It's something that I grew up with in rhythmic gymnastics and that I found quite helpful and it's a little different from what most people do. If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my hand Next up, we're gonna stay here and do some larger waves, now going front and back. So you can start with your arms up above your head and then use them to follow the rest of your body during these waves. We'll be doing eight of these and alternating directions each time. So we're now starting to get into some deeper arches, so hopefully your back is feeling more warmed up at this point. Okay, continuing on, we'll now do these waves from side to side, again for eight times, and we're going to alternate directions each time. And when you're doing these, I want you to try to reach your arm back towards that extended leg. Okay, great. Just take another quick rest and then we'll get into some bridges in a second. The sun is coming up again. Looking like it's gonna be a problem. Cause I'd be lying to you if I said. This ain't a thing and I've been looking for a new one I keep on waiting for the weekend Gonna hit you up and tell you that I want you Cause I just wanna Coming up to a standing position, we'll fall into a bridge Hold for a quick second and come back up And that's gonna be one, we'll do eight of them But if you can't come to a, a bridge from standing like this You can check out my beginner back flexibility tutorial Where I go over some different variations to get into your bridge position Side to side and then back and forth Up all night again me and you Left and right and then Okay, just lean forward to rest your back again. Now come back into a bridge position and we'll just hold here for 30 seconds. 
You can do a bunch of other stretches kind of within these bridge positions. You can walk your hands closer towards you. You can kind of rock back and forth. You can extend your legs and push back into your shoulders or you can just hold here. Next up, come onto your elbows and we'll just hold here for 15 seconds. And lastly, come into the spider position and we'll hold here for 15 seconds. I even like to extend my legs at the end for a nice deep stretch. But okay, come back and do a child's pose. We're almost done here. I just have one more exercise for you guys. Okay, for this last exercise, you'll come into a chest stand position so your legs are up in the air and your hands are going to be linked together behind you. Your legs are going to drop on your right side, then to the left side, and then in the center. So that's one rep, and we'll do four of them. Now this is just another angle, just to show you guys a little bit better of what we're doing. Okay, let's get started. I know this is not the most comfortable position and it's kind of hard to breathe in, but just try your best and do as many as you can for now. If you can only do two right now, that's great. If all you can do is hold a chest stand, that's still great. So whatever level you're at now is amazing, but this gives you something to work towards. Okay, great. Come and relax in your child's pose one last time and just take as much time as you need here. And we're done. Great job. And that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you tried out this tutorial and let me know how you did because I'd love to know. And as always, if you have any tutorial requests for the future, please let me know in the comments because I'm going to be filming 10 to 15 tutorials this week just so I have a giant library ready to post for when I start school. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down below if you're not already. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye.